Now, we talk about here, never introduce shop air, but right here on the sticker, you know, they're doing away with these ports, Pete. Mm. A lot of these cars are no longer using them for the simple reason people had issues with this. Now, this port, you see where it says 1 PSI maximum. So we don't put unregulated shop air. Your smoke machine does regulate it down. So we need to make sure that we're going to have the right pressure going through this setup. Okay. Now, in case you want to know where some of the problems are at, we do have a big problem, Pete, as we know with hoses. So hoses are an issue. Uh, up here, we do have filler nets that rust out. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is a biggie. And then you may have a solenoid problem, or you may have, and solenoid problems are usually another thing up this way, because we do come up with issues with salt going into the EVAP vent solenoids, usually located in the rear of the vehicle, and that becomes a problem where the vent solenoid is not working right. Okay. So what we have here is our gas cap, our filler neck. Uh, this little pipe here, this added pipe, this is nothing we did. This is a Ford system, actually, and this pipe is something that's incorporated on the OVRV. That's a ball that GM kind of used in there. Well, this is the same thing. It kind of prevents some of the stuff from backing up. Okay. So you need to also smoke from here and smoke from here. I didn't even add the smoke yet. Just, just the gas. If the ball never drops, I got a huge leak. Then I might go look at that gas cap. Because that's, that's one of the few sources that's going to cause a massive leak, right? Or a hose is unplugged or something. If Depending how much fuel is in the tank, it may take a while for this to work its way down. So you have to be patient. If, you, if your customer comes in and they only have a quarter tank of gas in the, in the vehicle, gonna take more it's going to take a long time for that, that CO2 to fill all that space. And you can see this come down very, 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 very slowly. But it should eventually get all the way to the bottom. Now, as, as you pointed out, depending on the size of the leak that exists, it may not make it to these points. But what I have found a lot of times is that I'll get it near the bottom, but it will just keep on bouncing. It will never totally settle out. In that case, I still have a leak, but it is going to be a bear to find because it is very, very, very small. Yeah, but I, I put the stuff in here because I believe it's super important. You see where it says it may take up to 15 minutes, and you have EVAP, purge, duty cycle. We got FTP, fuel tank pressure sensor with voltage. We got the EVAP bypass solenoid, okay? And you have the EVAP, EVAP canister vent solenoid. Notice one is off, one is on. Make sure we got a good connection. You see the green light on top? Okay, there you all, oops. Can you see the green light on top? Now I'm going to hit the breaker. If it popped, it went from red to green, and see, now it's not going red. My breaker has popped out. I'm going to press the breaker back in. I now can make it red. And the reason why I want to do that, I want to make sure, again, I got a good power and ground. I've seen too many people make that mistake. 